everyone in the previous video we upgraded our laravel version from 8 to 9 so now the time is to upgrade it from 9 to 10 so let's move to the top okay and here i'm going to click on this laravel 10 or even if i click on this master i can upgrade this directly from no there is no one okay just click on this laravel 10 and now we are in the laravel 9 so if i go here and open this here in the terminal php artisan hyphen hyphen version so we are in the laravel 9 right now let's go here and upgrade this to the laravel 10 uh, so laravel 9 uh, require 8.1.0 or greater okay just find this composer.json and upgrade the php 8.21 or 01 yeah 8.21.0 right and minimum this one will be the requirement then laravel now require composer 2 or greater so what would be the my composer version uh, composer i think v we? okay its a version is 2.65 that's my upgraded version so don't worry my composer updated if in your case your composer isn't updated so you can run this so let me clear this first uh, composer uh, you can say that self uh, self update something like this and then this will upgrade your composer right so in my case it's saying that you are already using the latest available composer version right okay in your case it will be upgraded okay composer dependencies composer.json to laravel 10.0 so just do this 10.20 okay and then laravel sanctum would be 3.2 laravel sanctum would be 3.2 and before it was using the 3 right we haven't upgraded this but anyway it's working fine uh, 3.2 we are not using sanctum so that's why we are not facing any issue and then doctrine dbl if it i think it's uh, added uh, in the laravel 9 but we haven't added this so let me add this doctrine dbl we are not using this but uh, it's added in the laravel and so let me add this out here doctrine dbl and the version would be uh, 3.2 zero right so i don't know how to find this top uh, yeah this one uh, 3.0 yeah 3.0 but this should be in the double quotes so add this something like this doctrine dbl now let's save this one and it's fine right okay now just go here spotty ignition 2.0 spotty ignition 2.0 okay and then laravel passport we are not using the laravel passport if you are using sanctum 3.0 please please concern no we are not using this if you are upgrading sanctum 3.x from 2.x release but we are not using the sanctum to 6.127 where is the Anumaduru? yeah this one 7.0 php unit now just come to the php unit it will be the 10.8 10.0 okay save this one and then here minimum stability unit to also change this to stable so let's go down here minimum stability not dev it would be the stable okay and then application we are not using this public or something like this cache boom get table uuid lang bangladesh you can use this okay, validation and that's it okay just save this one and now i'm going to upgrade this composer composer update see what error we are going to face because i'm doing this my first time i haven't upgraded this from 9 to 10 right and also did this so 8 to 9 uh, before i tested this and then i have implemented this 
so it says fruit cake course 2.0 conflict okay uh, we have a fruit cake okay this one is top here fruit cake course okay guys so i have uh, removed this uh, course package like this fruit uh, cake course and then it's uh, upgrading that uh, upgrading this successfully right so you can also remove this and if you need this then you can install this uh, uh, like uh, from this command what will be the command compose a required fruit uh, fruit cake course right we'll do that okay this one contain the doctrine before it was it's not using the doctrine in the laravel itself um, basically doctrine uh, dbl is used to change if you want to change any migration file data type or you want to change the existing uh, column you want to drop the column so this doctrine dbl is used right and yes it's completed successfully so let me clear the screen here and then i'm going to install this fruit course again just to hit enter okay we are still facing the same issue so uh, let me remove the cores i think it's not added here anymore so reverting composer to the original content okay that's fine so if i go and click on this composer update without this core i think it's fine there is, there is nothing to upgrade we don't want to install this laravel course if we need it we will install this but at this time i'm not using this laravel course and yes it's going to generate the auto load files so let's uh, wait for a minute to complete this process and then i'm going to run this application and yes it's completed generated the files and yes okay fine now here if i go here and check the version so php artisan iphone iphone version and yes we are in the laravel 10 so this is a way to upgrade your laravel application if i go here and give it a refresh oh my god fruit cake course handles doesn't exist so uh, let me install this fruit cake course right fruit cake uh, package uh, it's creating the problem so let me install this and then i'm coming back okay guys so i have solved this problem basically it's creating target class fruit cake course handle course doesn't exist right so i said this is it okay to uh, remove course while upgrading to laravel 10 and here this guy is replied uh, you should then replace the middleware with the one someone has uh, same issue right so here this one is and this one is guy uh, is uh, credit goes to uh, these guys so just remove this line from the kernel so just go here app http and kernel so don't go to the console kernel go to the http kernel okay and here this one is handle cores uh, uh, this one is a middleware so remove this one this one is removed in the laravel 10 and then add this one so it's now exist in the illuminate http right so it's coming from the poser okay and uh, just save this one and so close this composer go here and give it a refresh and boom our issue is resolved now right i'm going to now uh, if i go here and click on this week day and everything is working fine right click on this week month and go back and yes if i go to give it a refresh it's css applied that's why it's changing the behavior so we are successfully able to upgrade our version from the laravel 9 to level 10 and the next video i'm going to add more feature into this calendar js so thank you so much for watching the video and if you think that this adds some value into your life so subscribe to the channel and share it with your friend thank you